Vibes. Vibes is here to entertain you. What's new, guys? You're cordially welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are an old or a new day, you're most definitely welcomed. Hope you all are doing fine, guys, because I actually wish each and every one of you the best in life. I mean, in today's video, guys, there is a very huge revelation, and I'm so excited to give you all the entire details. Guys, the murderer of Ramaphosa's ally Barbita has finally confessed to the crime. And guess what again, guys? SANDF member has been traced down as well. Huh. So guys, I know you all are so excited to get the entire information. That is why Jam Vibes is here to give you the entire gist and vibes. So stay glued and watch this video right up to the end. If you're new to this channel, please guys, take a second of your time to give a thumbs up to this video. Drop your comments, subscribe and hit the post notification bell so you don't miss on our subsequent videos. Guys, stay glued and let me reveal to you the information proper. There has been a manhunt for the person who is responsible for the assassination of the former spokesperson of Cyril Ramaphosa. Barbita was gunned down just outside her home. She was laid to rest on Friday the 27th of August 2021. Reports came out that several suspects have been apprehended in connection with her murder. This was a well-oiled orchestrated mission. Some individuals do not want to expose, I mean guys, they don't want to be exposed for their own corruption deeds. After the murder of Barbita Diokaran, the financial director of the Gutten Health Ministry, investigators were able to trace the vehicle of a former member of the South African Defense Force living in the Pretoria area. Some of the seven suspects arrested for the murder of Gutten Health Officer Barbita Diokaran have reportedly confessed to the crime. Barbita Diokaran, a corruption spoiler in the Gutten Health Department, was followed by alleged killer for more than a month. Later this week, there were only three sunny days followed by a maze of closed-circuit cameras which constructed his escape route and led to his arrest. On August 23rd, Jokaran was killed in front of her home in Winchester Hills, Gutten, and the killer was arrested four days later. At exactly 8 o'clock in the morning, she sent her daughter to school and returned. When she parked in front of her house, an unmarked white BMW parked next to her car and fired multiple bullets at the car she later died in the hospital i mean guys it's so unfortunate after the incident the neighbor reported to the police that he had seen the same bmw three times in front of the occurrence house residents took photos of houses neighbors took photos of cars and wrote down license plate numbers importantly this information allows investigators to track a former member of south african defense force who lives in the pretoria area in the rear of the vehicle it is just so unfortunate that Diokaran had to pass on to glory. She was investigating fraudulent COVID-19 contracts of the GDOH. Her evidence and investigative affidavits are part of the Special Investigation Unit, that is the SIU. Investigation into the beat scandal. A Diokaran colleague who was asked to be identified said that Diokaran had worked with SIU before COVID-19 and the department's standard personal protective equipment was corrupt, indicating that for the last 10 years, Diokaran actually exposed each and every illegal activity in the Ministry of Health, Personal and Illegal Activities. According to this colleague, a CFO, Diokaran was a smoking gun and could defeat senior officials with traces of paper, Jokaran's decision to clean the house will also show a web of corruption, requiring a union to facilitate paperwork at all stages of the approval process and install flexible employees in the department who may be under pressure or involved in transactions. So guys, from the entire information, we must have noticed that Jokaran was a very straightforward lady. She does not deal with corruption and actually, when you do this corruption, when you are corrupt, she's actually going to expose you. With this guys i mean in the political sector is so so unseen because when you expose people of course they're gonna gun you down that's just it they say being a politician makes you untouchable by the people but it's so unfortunate you are very much accessible and touchable by your own colleagues so to the politicians let's be very much wise 
to our kind of decisions and what we do, especially in the political sphere. And to you, the individual also plan to be politicians, please control your mouth. Know the way you work. And if you know you are the kind of person who exposes others, then be rest assured that you should be in a very safe area. With that said, guys, we've come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching right up to this point. Hey, as for my genuine subs, I love you all. And those who just new year, subscribe and stay loyal.